Well folks, how are you all? No repairs tonight. Tonight I thought I'd come up and mess around with us. Creality laser machine. This is the Falcon 2. He sent me this in a few months ago. Done a wee review video on it there a while back. Thought I'd take it out here again tonight. Do where we test out, do a few more things on it. Why? Some of a cause. During Easter there, had to, had my two boys in a few shops. One of the things they wanted was this here. They wanted two of these, one each. Just an egg for Easter to colour in. Out of balsa wood, a few wee patterns on it. Very, very simple. Five euro for that. A piece of balsa wood cut out in a laser machine with a few little patterns put onto it. That there and three little markers cost a fiver. Unreal. So if you're ever wondering why people buy things like this, it's because they make money. Simple as. Now that was probably a little bit too expensive. A fiver for that. It was out of a shop, mind you, not a craft shop. They wanted it on the day. It was Easter. Happy to get them at. But a fiver for that. And people wonder then why these things sell. Well, it's plain and obvious when people can make that kind of money at it. Take a piece of balsa wood, probably only cost about a tenner for a four foot sheet. Making different craft wee items with it with a laser machine, put them together. Or else package them up and sell them on as little craft things or things for kids to colour on. There's so many things you can actually do in this. So tonight I thought I'd come up and make a few other wee things like this here for my boys to sit and colour on. Save me having to buy them again. So I took it out again. Thought I'd set it up and make a few more things. Not going to make them myself, just going to go online, download the pattern and put it onto the machine itself, just through the laptop. I mean, this couldn't really be easier. You know, these are Christmas decorations, but you can still enjoy colouring these on. Go to this here, 3axis.com. So there's hundreds of patterns and things to actually cut out. That downloads it for you, saves it on, there's a couple of patterns I must cut out and try it out here. Just a couple of wee things for my boys to actually sit and colour on. There's loads of different things, boxes, ornaments, decorations, there's lots of things just on sites to download to actually make on one of these here printers. Or you can use software like Lightburn and make your own. But this time I'm not going to use Lightburn, I'm going to use this laser. GRBL. It literally is this simple. Open a file. Go with a skull. I'll enjoy colouring that on. Power up your laser. Connect it up. I'm just going to use this piece of 6 mil ply. Obviously, I've loads of this stuff lying around. That's the other thing. If you have scrap material lying around, wheat bits and pieces, this is a perfect way to use it up and make a bit of extra cash out of it. Look at that. Simple and as quick as that. And that's six small ply as well, not balsa wood. That's class. Quickly and easily knock things like that out. That's why people buy these things. Thank you. 
Look at that. And that took two passes, not just the one. Isn't that class? Little hinged box. Obviously a little bit of glue will be needed to hold it together permanently. That gives you an idea of just how quick and easy you can actually make these things. One little hinged lid box for holding the likes of business cards or company cards. Even post-it notes. Just wee simple quick things like that there. All made from six small plywood. Use balsa wood, six small ply, or even get a bigger laser again. You get a 40 watt one as well. It'll actually cut thicker material too. That is class. Two passes and it comes out clean. Nice clean edge as well. Not burnt or anything. Now, last time I used light burn, which is quite good, and you can design things yourself. You can do a lot more on it, but it's a lot more complicated. This time I actually opened them files and a software called Laser GRBL, but it's a little bit more basic. It's just basically opening up the image, that's it. And you can actually just print out the weight as you can't modify it, you can't change it, you can't change the feed rates. That's why I had to take two passes in this because it doesn't actually cut the whole thing through in one go. Can't change the feed rate on it, so you have to do it in two passes. The light burn software gives you a lot more options. You can change a lot more settings. You can fine tune it, change the actual power rating on the laser itself, what percentage it is, 100% power, 50% power. If you're just trying to mark it, burn the surface, do a bit of shadowing, stuff like that there. If you're cutting through, you can just do 100% power. Change the feed rates as well. Thicker material, you can slow it down. A lot more options. Plus, you can actually just change the image, crop things, move stuff around, rescale it. On the actual laser software, you can't really do an awful lot. You're basically just importing a picture and printing it through the software. That's about it. So, if you're just looking to make a few things, make a win a bob, and actually hobby on the side, maybe go to craft fair, stuff like that, you don't want to go to the hassle of actually designing everything yourself. Just download them online from free sites, open them up on that laser software. It mightn't be that great, but it's free. Don't have to pay for it, just start using it straight away. It's just a software to decode the actual image so that the laser machine can cut it out. It's decent in that regard because it is free, but it is limited. If you're just taking a design from online, and you just want to import that to cut it out on the laser is a very good option because that's all it is. So that's it folks. Now that we test out on the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. I have to get a wee bit of glue on this now, get it put together properly and give it to me boys. I'm sure they'll have fun painting it up and putting a few things onto it. Gives them something extra to do. Anyway folks, that's her. That's the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. Very handy setup. If you're looking to mix stuff at home with a laser machine, it's a very good option. Not badly priced, 
nothing complicated about it very easy to set up run and use most complicated thing is just getting the patterns and using the software to get, cut them out with the laser the laser itself very good anyway folks thanks for watching chat to you later